In this video, we will learn how to create uh, websites in Dreamweaver software. So after opening Dreamweaver, go to File menu and click New. And uh, it uh, from here you can choose any uh, your desired document, any uh, any of your language. I I have selected HTML and type your desired name of title. Click Create and it's open now. I have selected split mode in split mode you can uh, view uh, your document in both modes uh, like in design view and in the code view also if you don't have the properties window go to the windows menu and uh, click properties and you will get your properties window below uh, select your desired form from page properties if you don't have Calibri from here uh, you can click manage fonts and from here you can search your desired font if you still can't find uh, select this tab from above type your desired font here and add it like this and it's added into your list and click OK now it's a uh, uh, selected to all of your uh, web page now heading over to the ne next step to add the table insert table I have added the number of columns and rows click OK after that and when you click on the design view it's it will be appear like this now you can also see the code in the code in the code view from here you can add attribute of a line and um, set the property its uh, its property in uh, center and your table will be aligned into center now add logo in the first cell like this click image and this logo is inserted now you can in adjust the columns like this in the table select these three columns from here and merge now we are heading to the navigation type like this and uh, it will be automatically added into your code also as you can see into the uh, coding window below if you want to align uh, to the right side add its uh, attribute align and set it to right and this navigation will be aligned to the right side now to make this navigation functional we will add hyperlink from insert menu and uh, select your index page behind this and select new from new target from here uh, it means that your home page will open in the new tab similarly in about us case select it and again go to the insert menu click hyperlink and set its about page like this from here and again in the target select new and type its title from here and then click OK similarly select the contact us tab and similarly set its page from here actually we are linking the page using hyperlink option like this and again click OK now to add CSS file uh, click plus option and add new file browse the location of your file where you want to save it name your CSS file I have already saved but replace it ok and in selectors you have to uh, write your CSS file name with dot 
dot mean you are creating a class and when you click on it in properties menu you can edit its properties uh, like in your uh, like uh, color font style font size weight everything like this in selectors you can also choose a, a tag any tag like uh, anchor tag like uh, any other tag in HTML but it will be uh, applied only on that tag so that's why we use dot and then uh, the name of the CSS file with this dot CSS file I can add the CSS class into uh, in my code as an attribute so use class attribute and use the name of that uh, CSS file and it this CSS file will be applied to that uh, tag like this in the code as you can see in the video now we have applied CSS class to our navigation and now let's see its output in uh, real time view in Chrome let's see it's working or not save all the files first <coughs> and now as you can see the navigation is working fine and every uh, page is opening in the new tab because we have select the target new now again heading over to the next step merge the first row now we will add the embed code of the video right click and copy the embed code now we will add this code in our page when you click this uh, row in design view you can it will uh, show us its code in below where to add this code now I will add this code in the relevant uh, table data table data tag in the coding window and I have changed its width to 1000 and heading over to the next step change the columns merge them like this now as uh, you can see if you want to apply the CSS this CSS file to this uh, heading I will just add the class attribute and uh, I will name add the name of that file that CSS file and I can easily integrate that uh, CSS file with the help of that dot uh, CSS file or you can say the dot selector if you will add that selector only any tag like any anchor tag or any other tag it that uh, CSS file will be only applied to that tag 